Good morning, this is Pastor Ezekiel Johnson of Great Commission Pentecostal Church. And today I have a word of encouragement, but I really want to kind of get into the word and I want to talk about who the Holy Ghost is, the identity of the Holy Ghost. Now, Jesus being God had a fascinating way of using words to explain things. Well, that's how we all get just about all the information we get through words. But God being the one that instituted the whole idea of linguistics knows how to use those words in a fascinating way to reveal truth. And this morning, just for a little, little bit of time, I wanna just uh, talk about who the Holy Ghost is, the identity of the Holy Ghost through Jesus's own words. And it's quite incredible to see how he opens this up to his disciples. So I'm in John 14, John chapter 14. He starts this chapter off by saying he's going away. And we all know that he's talking about his death. However, his disciples didn't really fully grasp what he was talking about. And so he explains and opens the scripture up and, you know, IDs the father. And we'll leave that for another time. But then in verse number 16, he then begins to talk about their ongoing relationship with him after he parts. So he says this in verse number 16, and I'll read this. It says, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter. Another is the key word here, another comforter. They are currently being comforted by whom? By Jesus, he's there that he might abide with you forever. Now, Jesus, the reason he would contrast that is because he just, in the previous verses, was explaining that he was going to leave them. He was going to be gone away. But he's saying this other comforter, another comforter that he was gonna pray that the Father was gonna give to them, was gonna be with them forever. And so there's the contrast. This, this uh, comforter that's currently with you cannot abide with you forever, but I, the, another comforter is coming that will. So in verse number 17, he begins to describe this other comforter. He says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, and this is why they can't receive him, two things, because it seeth him not, speaking of the world, and it knoweth him not. Then he flips it on a dime and begins to really reveal. This is probably the first uh, part of this that he uses to reveal who the identity of the Holy Ghost is. So he says this in the latter part of chapter number seven, verse number 17, he says, uh, neither knoweth him, speaking of the world, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you. There's the biggest clue. Who's dwelling with them? What comforter? He said he's going to pray the Father that he's going to send another comforter that will abide with them forever, for always. And then he begins to describe this other comforter. He says, this other comforter is the spirit of truth uh, whom the world doesn't know because they can't see him and they don't know him. Or he says, because the world, does, the world uh, cannot receive him because they can't see him. Everything that the world does processes through the senses. They can't see him and they don't know him. But he says, but you know him. And here's a real big clue about him. He currently dwells with you. Well, what comforter was dwelling with them? Jesus himself. And then he says, and shall be in you. The only way that he could be in them is by being a spirit. So that's why he introduced the whole concept of the spirit of truth, this other comforter. And then in verse 18, he really gives away the entire picture, just takes away all of their pretense and it reveals to them who that spirit of truth is and who that other comforter really is. He says in verse number 18, I will not leave you comfortless. He uses that same word, comforter, comfortless. I will come to you. So there you have it. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of Jesus. It's Jesus abiding in his disciples then and then in us today when we receive the Holy Ghost. 
That's a gift for everybody. And don't kid yourself. You don't have the Holy Ghost unless you have it the way the Bible talks about it. You know, this isn't the first time that God ever spoke about the Holy Ghost. In the Old Testament, in the book of Joel, he says, In the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. This is the way it happened. In the book of Isaiah 28 and 19, it says, With stammering lips and another tongue will I speak to, through this people. And this is how God does it. He speaks through speaking in other tongues, a language you never learned before. But this is how the Spirit of God is poured out. Tomorrow we're going to take some time and look at that means or method by which God chose to show that his Spirit dwells in us. And that's, of course, the speaking in tongues. And fascinatingly enough, I will go to the Old Testament and show you some things in the Old Testament about when the Spirit of God moves on an individual. This is Pastor Ezekiel Johnson saying have a great day and let's stay in the book.